CMD Boxing Reports. This is Ronell here reporting here. All right, gang. So, man, I see the hate is real, man, for real. I mean, it is real. Like, now that the Terrence Bud Crawford, Julius and Dongo fight went down, you know, not everyone's happy with the outcome. And I'm going to tell you, a lot of people is not happy with it. Okay? I'm happy for you, uh, Bud Crawford. That means he took on a pretty good fighter, which none of us knew too much about. All right, I, I will admit that. I mean, he's only seen Julius and Dongo fight twice, like I said before. And then those two fights looked, at, you know, pretty spectacular. Or really in the Ricky Burns fight. Because in the fight in Russia, they only went like a minute or so in the first round before he starts to. But, you know, people now seeing that the fight between Bud Crawford and Julius and Dongo was fake. Julius and Dongo was brought in to lose this fight just to, you know, I guess Bob Ehrman's way of promoting this guy. This is how he can do it, by having fighters lay down, okay? Oh, man, I seen this comment. It was on, uh, who was it? Uh, Nikio Boxing, all right? And um, he was showing the fight on YouTube. And we had this dude come up there and he was saying that this fight here is fake. Julius and Dongo was paid to lay down. You know, that punch that landed, I mean, it landed on Julius Ndongo's glove. I mean, if you watch it over again, you see the punch landed on his glove. And he was talking about the punch from the second round, all right? And the first first knockdown. So, you know, I, I mean, he got like, what, 42, 47 likes off that post. So he had a lot of people agreeing with him. And, and there was about, what, over 50-something uh, response to it. And them people was like disagreeing with him. But they didn't get as many likes he got. You know, some of them got 15 likes. You know, yeah, some people saying, man, you don't know jack about boxing. You know, you don't know how boxing works. And if you watch the fight over again, you'll see that Terrence Bud Crawford landed the body shot. Like, I, I forget, was his uh, left? No, I'm sorry, he was in South Boston, so it was right. He landed to the body, I believe. And uh, he put his weight in it, okay? And it's something that this dude don't know about. And, you know, you could tell he's just a casual fan. You know, it's more to boxing than just throwing your hands. It's levels to this stuff. You know, you need timing. You have to know how to uh, work your weight, how to shift your weight into your punches. Something that this dude don't know. So he was just a casual. So that's good, though. Goes to show that uh, Bud Crawford, his, uh, you know, reputation in boxing is picking up. You know, he's uh, beginning to pick up a lot of casuals. So when you see a lot of hate, it's mostly the casuals who really don't understand boxing. So yeah, I say that's pretty good. Now. Did anyone else notice in the interview how when they was interviewing Terrence Bud Crawford, how Andre Ward had just stopped talking and just started staring into the camera? I mean, he was looking into the camera, I say about what, 45 seconds, he ain't say nothing. He was just frozen. <laughs> He's like, man, my number one pound for pound uh, spot is in trouble. This little dude here is going to take my spot. I got to do something. <laughs> Now, I, I'm just paraphrasing, but he was like stuck looking into the camera. Now, they say that uh, now they're asking him to move up and wait, all right? Now, okay, if he does move up and wait, a, a lot of people is calling for only mostly two fights for him to take on, and that's Keith Thurman and Earl Spence, all right? So, most likely, you know, these two heavy hitters, okay? At, at sometimes people so they ain't nothing. You know, uh, Keith Thurman, he can't take no body shots. He only knock out bums. Uh, Earl Spence, you know, he's not really that experienced. All he has is just body punching power. This, that, and the third. But however, they want, you know, Terrence Bud Crawford to face this dude, okay? I mean, they, he want, they want him to face both Keith Thurman and Earl Spence. So if, if they're both bums, why do y'all want Earl Spence or Keith Thurman? Why do y'all want Terrence Crawford to move up and fight this guy or both of them? So let's say he beats both of them, you know. Oh, or Earl Spence, he was never that great. You know, uh, Keith Thurman, he was never that great. He can't take body shots. I mean, I don't hear him saying anything about Danny Garcia or Sean Porter. Now, let's say if he do take someone, uh, Danny Garcia, because they'll say, well, you know, I'm not impressed until he takes him with Danny Garcia because Danny Garcia got that blind punch. And you know that 
Terrence Bud Crawford always get caught, all right? He don't have that, you know, magnificent defense, all right? So they want to see him take on Danny Garcia. Okay, cool. He takes on Danny Garcia. And he ends up beating Danny Garcia. Oh, man, now what? Oh, well, you know, uh, Danny Garcia is a damaged fighter. You know, he got six toes on one foot. You know, uh, his dad uh, grew up in Philly. He was on drugs, this, that, and the third, and all that played into this fight. So Danny Garcia was damaged. <laughs> Won't give the man his props. I mean, y'all thought that the guy would beat him, Danny Garcia, that is, because of that blind swing and punch he has, and that, you know, Terrence Bud Crawford, you know, is able to get hit, you know, with that punch. Yes, he has been hurt before. So, you know, y'all was hoping that he'll get, you know, hurt by this blind swing and punch by Danny Garcia, but it didn't happen. He ended up beating him. Okay, so he takes on Sean Porter now, all right? Now, what would be the excuse? All right, he takes on Sean Porter, Terrence Bud Crawford, that is. And he ends up winning against Sean Porter, all right? And he clearly outboxes Sean Porter. Like, let's say he, he does uh, a way better job than Kel Brook, you know, Keith Thurman, okay? Even better than... uh. Adrian Broner, okay? All people will say, well, man, you know, he was robbed, man. You know, Sean Porter, he won that fight. Or they'll say something dumb, like, well, we believe that Sean Porter found out that uh, uh, his dad wasn't his real father. You know, you can tell, just look at him. Sean Porter is light-skinned, and Kenny Porter is dark-skinned. You know, nah. You know, they'll come up with some dumb crap like that. So, like I said, and then they'll say, well, why don't he move up to 154? You know, he's beating up on all these damaged guys at 147. Now, before he's beating up damaged guys at 140 or, you know, small guys at 140. So he moves up to 147. He beats the four top at 147. Oh, now, you know, that's not good enough. So now he, he needs to move up to 154. Are you serious? All right, he moves up to 154. He beats some of the top guys there. Oh, you all know what's coming up next. He's on pets. So the hate is real, man. It's a shame it has to be that way, but then again, it's good because now that he's picking up a lot of casuals, you know, he's going to have like fans on both sides, no matter how you look at it. All right, you're going to have the um, his hardcore. You're going to have the hardcore boxing fans. All right, actually, you're going to have three three types: the hardcore boxing fans. You're going to have his hometown fans, and he's going to have the casuals and the, and the haters looking at him. You know. So yeah, I mean, I believe Terrence Bell Crawford, he will pick up. He still, he will start doing views. And uh, one other thing, a lot of people say they're getting sick of time seeing him fight in Nebraska. They want the guy to fight elsewhere. Like where? In fact, he did fight elsewhere. He fought Diaz in New York, wasn't it? And you know, Diaz, he what? He's Dominican. Let me tell you something. That was basically Diaz's backyard. You know, New York. Cause let me tell you, man, there's a lot of Dominicans that's fleeing the Dominican Republic. They move all up here on the East Coast, and especially New York and Philly. And up here in Jersey, but New York is the most. We see a whole whole lot more of them, you know? So he was basically in uh, uh, Diaz, uh, Felix Diaz, his backyard when he fought in New York. Still whipped his ass. So it doesn't matter if he fights in Nebraska, New York, VA. Hey, you know, if he's that damn going good, He'll continue to win, no matter where is it at. So, that's my take on this. CMD Boxing Report. So, catch you guys on the next one.